Dear friends, in this video, we are going to discuss a knocking tendency of a CI engine. In the last few videos, we discuss about the different things related with the CI engine. We discuss about the different stages of combustion in the case of CI engine. We discuss about the delay period and its types, that is physical delay period and the chemical delay period. So in this video, we are going to discuss a very important part of this particular unit that is a knocking tendency of a CI engine. As we already discussed the knocking or detonation in the case of ESI engine, so similarly in the case of CI engine, this particular tendency is there. So how this particular knocking take place and how it is different from the ESI engine, here we are going to understand. So in the case of CI engine, the delay period is very, very important. And this is the one of the thing because of this, the knocking tendency will be in a CI engine. So as we discussed in the earlier video, so if the delay period increases, definitely the knocking tendency increases. So as we know, there are two types of the delay period physical delay period and the chemical delay period. So rather physical delay period increases or the chemical delay period increases and ultimately the total delay period increases and its effect is nothing but the knocking tendency which creates in the CI engine and which is very much harmful to the different components of the engine. So we have to always minimize the knocking tendency in the case of CI engine. So here we are going to discuss how this particular diesel knock taken place or carried inside the compression ignition engine. It is also called as a abnormal combustion. Means combustion as the normal combustion process done inside the engine cylinder but because of few reasons the abnormality is there and this abnormality is not good for the component of the engine okay so again with the help of this pressure versus time diagram we are going to discuss the diesel now so similarly this y-axis indicates the pressure lines uh, increment and decrement in the pressure we can understand with the help of this y-axis and similarly the time elapses during the operation of the engine which describe on the x-axis. So A, B, C, D this is a curve of the actual engine operation of the CI engine and the different pressures and the different time zones are present in this particular diagram. So as we already discussed about the stages of combustion, so the point B is the point of the injection, but the actual combustion will start to take place from point C. And after the point C, as soon as the fuel enters inside the engine cylinder, it will burn instantaneously, rapidly, and there is no control over the possible during the combustion, and that is nothing but called the abnormal combustion process. We know all these things, okay. But because of the knocking here, we are not getting the smooth curve. If you see this particular curve which we are getting over here this is the abnormality compared to the abnormal combustion or that is nothing but that uncontrolled combustion when we compare this particular C to D point with the uncontrolled combustion that curve was a smooth curve but here we are getting some disturbance in the operations of the engine and this happens because of the tendency of the knocking. Okay, so why this happened? Now we are going to discuss. Why this abnormality happening inside the CI engine? Why we are not getting the smooth curve? Instead of smooth curve here we are getting some disturbance. So the reason is that is knocking. 
the so many reasons are there one by one we are going to understand in the ci engine the tendency of a knock is a totally depend on on the delay period or the ignition delay that is very important so this knocking is totally dependent on the delay period or the ignition delay delay period is also called as the ignition delay as this period increases definitely the knocking tendency enhances in the ci engine if the delay period is short then the smoother pressure flow developed on the piston but if the delay period is increased or it is longer then the actual burning of the fuel droplet is a delay okay so then a greater quantity of fuel droplet will accumulate in the combustion chamber when actual burning commences this large quantity of fuel can cause too rapid rate of pressure rise okay so this will result in impact force on the piston and the more rough engine operation and because of this the knock intensity increases which depends on the quantity of the fuel that undergoes the auto ignition and uncontrolled combustion so this diesel knock is generally associated with the high rate of pressure rise and the kind of a metallic sound or the vibration which produce inside the engine cylinder so the knock is indicated by the mechanical vibrations of the engine parts particularly cylinder walls and this knock should be avoided to eliminate the rough running of the engine so these are the different reasons because of this the knocking tendency will be happen in the ci engine and i hope you understood the diesel knock with the help of this particular diagram itself i hope uh, you understood the things thoroughly so thank you so much for uh, watching this particular uh, session on the diesel knock thanks a lot